If foreign object debris is found during an inspection, it may need to be removed. The IPLEX NX working channel scope has five retrieval tools to quickly remove debris. In this video, we'll show you how to set up and use these tools. First, here's an overview of each tool. The magnet tool is a convenient way to retrieve magnetic objects. Use the wire to push out the end of the magnet tool to collect the magnetic foreign object. The alligator tool is useful for collecting relatively large objects that can be pinched using the alligator mouth. When you slide the controller forward, the alligator mouth opens, and when you slide it back, the mouth closes, enabling you to grasp the foreign debris. With the basket tool, a wire grasps the object from three directions, so you can firmly grab foreign debris. Depending on the debris, you can also use the snare to catch debris with a wire loop, or the grasper that grips debris using three wires. Now let's explore how to set up each tool, starting with the magnet. No matter which tool you're using, the first step is to attach the optical tip adapter onto the scope's distal end and then unwind the insertion tube. This will make it easier to insert the tool through the working channel. Loosen the channel port's chuck screw and slowly insert the magnet tool wire's proximal end into the optical tip adapter's channel. Insert the magnet tool until the end is in the retracted position. Then, lock the channel port's chuck screw to hold it in position. Screw the controller unit counterclockwise into the tool inlet at the proximal end of the magnet tool near the channel port. Loosen the channel port's chuck screw and check to make sure you can push the magnet tool out from the scope's distal end by pushing the controller into the scope. If this doesn't work, repeat the previous step. Now, I'll show you how to set up the alligator tool. Once you've attached the tip adapter and unwound the insertion tube, loosen the channel port's chuck screw and slowly insert the proximal end of the alligator tool wire into the optical tip adapter channel until it is in a retracted position. Lock the chuck screw to hold it in place. To attach the chuck adapter, detach the cap from the channel port. Then, align the projection on the chuck adapter with the notch on the channel port and tighten the ring to clamp the chuck adapter in position. Insert the alligator tool so that the stopper on the clamp ring's distal end hits the optical adapter. Then, lock the clamp ring and fix the distal end of the insertion section using a piece of tape. Adjust the position of the alligator so that it does not interfere with the illumination lens. Insert the controller into the wire. And turn the clamp knob clockwise to secure it. While depressing the slider's red button, insert the proximal end of the control wire all the way into the distal end of the controller, and then release the button to attach the control wire to the controller. When you push out the slider, the wire is pushed out from the sheath, and the alligator opens. Pull the slider towards you, and the alligator closes and grasps the foreign object. Now I'll show you how to set up the basket tool. The same procedure is used when setting up the snare and grasper. Like with the other tools, the first steps are to attach the optical tip adapter to the scope's distal end, and then unwind the insertion tube. Loosen the channel port's chuck screw and slowly insert the foreign object collection portion of the closed basket tool into the channel port. When you push out the slider, the wire pushes out from the sheath, and then the basket opens, so that the foreign debris can be collected. Pull the slider toward you, and the basket closes and grasps the foreign object. When you're using a working channel scope tool, it might feel like you need three hands. One for operating the insertion tube, one to control the articulation and other settings, and one to work the channel tool. But there are accessories that can help. In your iPlex NX working channel kit, you'll find the accessories shown here. They can help you operate the retrieval tool more efficiently. 
With the channel port grip and belt clamp, you can hook the insertion tube somewhere convenient, such as on your belt. This frees you up from holding the insertion tube so that you can operate the retrieval tool. To set up the accessories, first loosen the channel port screw. Attach the channel port grip by guiding it into the notch and tighten the screw. Then, attach the belt clamp onto the back of the channel port grip. With the belt clamp attached, you can wear the insertion tube around your waist. Your inspection will be easier if you attach the channel port on the side of your body opposite your dominant hand. For example, I'm right-handed, so I will hook the insertion tube on my left side. This allows me to use my dominant hand to operate the retrieval tool. If the inspection target is an aircraft engine, another effective way to hold the insertion tube is to use the access port grip accessory. To use this, attach the insertion tube to the access port grip and place it in the access port. You will no longer have to hold the insertion tube, so you can focus on operating the retrieval tool. Guide the end of the insertion tube close to the foreign debris using the joystick on the remote control. When you're in position, operate the working channel tool to grab the foreign object and then remove it. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, please contact your local Olympus representative or visit olympus-ims.com.